What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, undefeated, WBC, lightweight, world champion, superstar boxer, Devin the Dream Haney, comes to face to face with undefeated, rising, lightweight, Mexican superstar contender, who is now the mandatory challenger for Devin Haney's WBC title after brutally knocking out and stopping Luke Campbell, former British lightweight contender superstar boxer uh, in the seventh round with a left hook to the liver. Afterwards, uh, Ryan Garcia, he called out undefeated two-division world champion who simultaneously holds the WB at 130-135, Javante Tank Davis. But then when asked about Devin the Dream Haney, he says, I see you over there. He pointed at Devin Haney. He says, I like Devin Haney. I'm the mandatory for Devin Haney. So if the fight can't happen with Javante Tank Davis, as the fans want to see me and Javante Tank Davis, he started asking the fans. He stated that um, I definitely want to fight Devin Haney. He said that's a fight that needs to happen and will happen. He says, uh, uh, and, hey, listen, if it's easier to make the fight with Devin Haney, then that's the direction we're looking to go in. Uh, then he asked the fans, uh, the fans started booing, and then he asked the fans, well, who do y'all want to see me uh, fight next? The fans started chanting, Tank, Tank, Tank. Uh, he said, well, uh, if we can make the Tank Davis fight happen next, that's who I want to fight next. He says, if not, I want to fight Devin the Dream Haney. Uh, afterwards, uh, after that interview, he immediately went over to come face-to-face -face with Devin Haney. He says, uh, and he was telling Devin Haney, listen, man, that was a tough fight I was in. Uh, he dropped me. He hurt me, you know, he said, but I was excited. You know, uh, Devin Haney stated that, you know, um, Devin Haney says that, you know, uh, uh, he respects uh, the fact that Ryan Garcia, he was faced, at, faced with adversity. He got dropped. He saw, he, he said that, um, you know, um, he showed a lot of flaws tonight, uh, a lot of holes in his games, he said, but he, he gives him a lot of credit for biting down, digging deep, getting up off the canvas and fighting back and getting the stoppage victory in a, in a you know, action pack fight, right? It was action packed from the opening round. So he says that Ryan Garcia did what he had to do to get the victory. Uh, he's definitely a good boxer, but he so, showed a lot of flaws tonight. Uh, this is what Devin Haney said. And then he was confronted by Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia says, listen, I know I got to fight you. When he, when he came face to face with Devin Haney, he said, I know I got to fight you. I'm the mandatory. Uh, so let's see how this all plays out. You know, uh, obviously, Devin Haney stated that, you know, um, hopefully we could get the fight made. Let's see how this goes. Uh, both of these guys, Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia, both want to face off against Javante Tank Davis if they could get Javante Tank Davis in the ring. Obviously, Javante Tank Davis right now currently is a bigger star than both Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney within the sport of boxing. He's the cash cow. He's headlining his pay-per-view events, uh, you know, um, He's headlining all his cards in big states, and he's headlining Atlanta. You know, so he's the he's the cash cow, right? Um, so it's a bigger fight, a bigger lucrative fight for both guys, Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia, if they face Devontae Tank Davis next. But I'm just glad that uh, they come to the understanding that if neither one of them could secure a, fate, a, a showdown with uh, or face De uh, Javante Tank Davis, then they are willing to go in the direction of facing each other, right? This is huge uh, news, you know, for the sport of boxing, because we want to see the best fight the best. Uh, Tiafimo Lopez is uh, undefeated. He's unified. He holds the WBO, the WBA, the IBF, and the Ring Magazine title. He needs one belt. That's Devin Haney's WBC title, and he is for undisputed. So if Ryan Garcia goes the route of facing Javante Tank Davis, uh, then we should see Devin Haney versus uh, Tiafimo Lopez for Undisputed. That just makes all the sense in the world to get these two guys to come together and face for Undisputed so we could get an undoubtedly uh, clear understanding who is the best uh, lightweight in the world, who is the uh, uh, official lightweight uh, world champion superstar boxer, and it would be for Undisputed. So it just makes all the sense in the world. We heard Tiafimo Lopez recently state that he wanted to go up uh, to 140 junior welterweight and challenge the winner of Jose Ramirez, Josh Taylor, undisputed showdown at 140. But uh, unfortunately for Teofimo Lopez, the winner of that fight is going to be moving up and facing undefeated former three division world champion, former junior welterweight undisputed world champion who currently holds the WBO welterweight world title, uh, Terrence Bud Crawford, superstar boxer. Uh, they, he fights on ESPN. It just makes more sense because Josh Taylor and Jose Ramirez are both five foot ten. They're both very big guys. They both uh, make it very, very clear that they struggle to make 
the 140 pound junior middle junior welterweight limit. So with that said, the winner of that fight is going to be moving up. Now we heard uh, Teofimo Lopez state that he will go over overseas and um, challenge his mandatory uh, challenger over there. You know, um, but he should be facing off against Devin Haney for undisputed. He had two big victories. He defeated uh, former IBF well to, uh, um, lightweight world champion superstar boxer Richard Comey. And then he went on and defeated, you know, uh, Vasil Hitech Lomachenko, superstar, three-division world champion who was unified, who beat Luke Campbell for the vacant WBC title. That's how uh, Teofimo Lopez became unified. So that's a huge notch in his uh, belt. And uh, he is seen as the best at 135 currently right now after that victory over Lomachenko, who was considered uh, top two, if not the pound-for-pound pound best fighter in the world. Uh, so him, you know, notching that feather in his cap uh, speaks volumes in itself. So, but Javante Tank Davis is the cash cow. You understand? Teofimo Lopez is considered the best 135-pounder. But Javante Tank Davis coming off of a brutal knockout victory over four-division world champion Mexican superstar boxer Leo Santa Cruz. But he's doing so at 130. Uh, so, is he going to campaign and go back up to 135? He had one fight at 135 that was against uh, Yuriokis Gamboa. Um, so, and he he stopped Yuriokis Gamboa in the 12th round of their fight, and he dropped Yuriokis Gamboa, I believe, uh, four times in that fight. So, Javante Tank Davis is seen as the cash cow. He's seen as the money man. So, uh, you know, every, all roads going to lead through Javante Tank Davis till somebody dethrones Javante Tank Davis. Uh, so, with that said. You know, we do have another major player at 130 with Javante Tank Davis, and that's undefeated former WBO featherweight world champion uh, Shakur Stevenson. He's at 130. Uh, that's a mega fight. But Javante Tank Davis seems to be going in the direction of facing uh, Ryan Garcia. Like I stated, uh, there's reports that uh deal was already in place for Ryan Garcia to face off against Javante Tank Davis uh, in July. But everything fell through due to the pandemic, the global pandemic and social distancing and things of that nature. So uh, obviously, Ryan Garcia is promoted by former Olympic gold medalist, former five division world champion, iconic superstar, Hall of Fame boxer who turned promoter Oscar the Golden Boy De La Hoya. And Javante Tank Davis is promoted by uh, none other than former five division world champion, Former pound for pound king, the man known as Money, retired, undefeated, 50 and no Floyd Money Mayweather, who has a natural rivalry with Oscar De La Hoya. So now you get uh, Floyd Mayweather and Oscar De La Hoya storyline because they fought in uh, 2007, uh, May of 2007. But the thing about it is it was a close fight. Uh, it was a split decision victory in favor of Floyd Mayweather, obviously being undefeated. And many people thought that Oscar De La Hoya could have got the nod, should have got the nod, and everybody wanted to see the rematch, but it just never came to fruition, right? And so here we have a quote-unquote replay of that. To a lesser degree, no slight to Geronte St. Davis and Ryan Garcia, but they are not the superstars that Floyd Mayweather and Oscar De La Hoya were at that point in time in their careers that broke pay-per-view records, okay? But this is the build-up, but you're going to have a lot of promotion coming from the part of Floyd Mayweather and Oscar De La Hoya, them two is going to come together and they're going to be talking about a lot about their fight and how it was leading up into their fight and how it is for these guys leading up into their fight. Uh, Ryan Garcia has a huge social media following, 7.3 or 7.4 Instagram million Instagram followers. You know, so uh, Javante Tank Davis has very similar to his lifestyle of that of Floyd Mayweather. So you can see the storyline, the built-in storyline. So it's more likely that you're going to get Ryan Garcia and Javante Tank Davis to face off against one another before you get uh, Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia. And Ryan Garcia did state that uh, if he had a choice of the first opponent, who he want to face first, he would pick Javante Tank Davis and then he would fight Devin Haney. But he says if he can't get and secure the, the Javante Tank Davis fight, he definitely wants to face Devin Haney. Devin Haney will be the opponent. With that said, uh, Ryan Garcia did state earlier this week that he is now the A-side against Javante Tank Davis. That is not going to fly with Floyd Mayweather or Javante Tank Davis. So that could be a roadblock in preventing this fight from coming to fruition if he decides to stand on his, his square and claim that he's the A-side. Javante Tank Davis is the clear A-side. He is the guy that done pay-per-views already. He's doing the bigger numbers. He's the clear A-side. So uh, Oscar De La Hoya, 
uh, I'm sure, you know, he would have to come to his understanding that and explain to Ryan Garcia, convince Ryan Garcia that we are the B side going into this. And, you know, uh, that's just what it's going to be until proven otherwise. Uh, so let's see how that unfolds and how that plays out. That's interesting because we know Floyd Mayweather and Javon Ting Davis are not going to budge off that A side square. They are the clear cut A side, and nor should they budge off that square because they are the A side. So let's see how this unfolds and let's see what's next with Devin Haney. Should he not be able to secure the Ryan Garcia fight? It's funny. We're saying Devin Haney needs to secure a Ryan Garcia fight when Ryan Garcia is the mandatory for Devin Haney's belt. This is how the sport of boxing unfolds. But uh, that's all I got for y'all, man. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue by Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire L. D B C shout out the new media shout out the black media role. Make sure you like your shady videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.